What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the alternative definition of a derivative to find f prime x when f of x is equal to this function, the square root of three minus x squared. Now, if you remember, we already actually found the derivative of this using the original, the most popular definition of a derivative. And in that video, which hopefully you watched, we got the derivative to be negative x over the square root of three minus x squared. And so what we gotta do now is use that alternative definition, which is the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. We gotta use this alternative definition with this function to try to get that same result. And when we're using the alternative definition, our derivative, it's gonna be in terms of, uh, of a, right? Because it's as x approaches a. So at the end, for all the x values, we're gonna plug in this uh, a variable, but um, it would still be in this format. So we would end up with negative a over the square root of three minus a squared. So that's what we're aiming to get. And so if we plug in everything, f of x is just the square root of three minus x squared. And then f of a is the square root of three minus a squared. Pretty simple, all over x minus a. Now remember, we're trying to get rid of this x minus a because we can't plug in a at the moment into this because uh, if we plug in a for x, we'll have a minus a, which would be zero, can't be dividing by zero. So we've got to try to get a factor of x minus a at the top to cancel out with this factor here. So we would rationalize this. We would multiply by three minus, the square root of three minus x squared plus that middle sign would change all over square root of three minus x squared plus the square root of three minus a squared, like that. And what we'll end up with now, this times that is uh, three minus x squared. Then we'll have that minus in the middle and then we'll have three minus a squared. We gotta be subtracting that whole term right there in brackets. So make sure you put a bracket there. All over uh, x minus a, Keep that separate from this here. So square root of three minus x squared plus the square root of three minus a squared like that. And then what's gonna happen is we would simplify this, um, this numerator. So when we distribute the negative inside the bracket, we'll have minus three plus a squared. Notice the threes would cancel out. So we'll end up having limit as x approaches a of a squared minus x squared all over x minus a times that entire expression root three minus x squared plus root three minus a squared like that. And then uh, just erase some stuff here, give myself some more room. What's the next step? Notice that that numerator we can factor it because that's a difference of squares. So that would factor into a minus x, a plus x. And we're still gonna be all over x minus a times this entire expression, square root of three minus x squared plus the square root of three minus a squared. Now notice we're getting pretty close in getting rid of this x minus a factor. We have this a minus x, but it's not the same yet. But what we can do is we can factor out a negative. You know what? I'm just gonna do it up here. I could factor out a negative from this bracket. And if I do, notice that all of the signs inside the bracket will change. Negative a plus x, that's the exact same as x minus a. Now, because these two terms are multiplying, if I factor out a negative, I don't factor it from both brackets. I can only factor it from one of the brackets. So I factored it from this one. So if I factored it from this one, it would be negative a minus x, and that wouldn't be the same as this. But now notice this x minus a, that x minus a, they're the same. Those, um, those end up canceling out. And now we could plug in 
a for all the x values. So we'd be left with negative a plus a all over square root of 3 minus a squared plus the square root of 3 minus a squared. I plugged in a for that x right there. These are like terms, the same expression under the, under the square root. So we'll add those coefficients in front. a plus a, that's just 2a. With that negative in front, it ends up being negative 2a over 2, 3 minus, square root of 3 minus a squared. Twos cancel out. Negative a over the square root of 3 minus a squared, which is the exact same derivative that we got when we did it with the original definition.